What's going on, everybody? So, I bought the new album, Formula, Volume 3, Romeo Santos. Uh, interesting, different. First time I listened to it, I was not quite into the album. I, I don't know what it was, but there was something. It's different than his other albums. Now, I'm telling you, I believe Golden is the best album. Utopia is pretty good, but uh, Golden is, is hard to top. When it comes to Formula Volume 3, it is a softer tone, and he experiments a little. There's one song that's merengue. It's uh, 15,500 uh, noches. I, I'm, I'm not saying 15,500 in Spanish because I don't know how to say it. But um, the first song, Bebo. Now, I skipped the intro. I'm not that big of a Cat Williams fan. Um, nothing wrong with him. It's just not my thing. So when you get to the first song, Bebo, I thought he was talking about um, a young child or maybe his son. But he's actually, I guess he's talking about the past tense of drunk. So baracho. And it's a very soft song. Uh, soft tone to it. Second song is Ayudame, if I'm saying that correctly, Ayudame. And another one where it's, it's almost as if Romeo's taken a step back from what he used to do, which is, you, you always love Romeo. You're never gonna forget me. Um, now, I'm not very good at Spanish, so you know I'm, I'm sure that he still has a little bit of that uh, machismo in there. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but it's a different tone of music. It's a different tone of song. The third song is called Boomerang, and it continues the story. It's almost as if he put this album together as one continuous story. Now, we got a piece of the story when we did, uh, when he released, I guess in February of this year, he released Susuelas. We got a piece of the story, you know, the, the Arancame Toro, Prefero Mori, you know, and he's saying that, you know, um, you know, your fingerprints, right, Susuelas, your cuts that you leave on my body, I'd rather prefer, I, I prefer death. It's just a different tone for a Romeo album, and I'm impressed. I'm gonna say that, I'm impressed. Um, what's the fourth song? So we did uh, Bebo, uh, Ayudame, um, Boomerang, and then the next one. Um, give me a second. Oh, Sexe con ropa. <laughs> There's a line in a song and he says, I'll F you on the dance floor if you let me. This is an interesting song. Um, this seems very different, a lot more English than that one. And uh, I don't know, I I'm listening to it and I keep playing that one over and over. I don't know if it's back in the day, I was a kid and you know, you'd go to the dance club and you know, you're young and you're thinking, oh man, let me just, uh, let me just see, let me just, uh, you know, <laughs> hopefully she likes me or whatever. Um, it, this is a creative song, Sexo con Ropa. Anyway, I'm not gonna give too much away for this album because Cynthia and I wanna do reactions to the videos. Now, if you notice, I didn't mention the Rosalia and I didn't mention Justin Timberlake. Um, the only thing I'll say about the Rosalia, I'll give you a, a, a piece, is that it's very similar to La Fama with The Weeknd. And um, I think that's all I'll say. As for the Justin Timberlake one, I think you should listen to it first. I don't want to influence you. Uh, Sin Fin is the uh, Justin Timberlake one. Anyway, y'all, uh, just want to give you a quick, um, a quick brief of uh, what I was, what I'm thinking about this album and how uh, I'm starting to really appreciate the album. The first time I listened, I did not like it. Now that I've been listening, I can't stop listening to it. So. I hope you enjoyed the Romeo Santos Formula Volume 3. Um, I absolutely would buy this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed by the way in which Romeo puts these songs together. Uh, the way he seems like even at his age, and I'm not saying anything about him being too old or whatever, but at his age, he's experimenting with things. Just like Utopia, when he brought on all of these great uh, bachatistas, 
<laughs> if that's what I, if that's what they're called. Uh, great artists from the Dominican Republic. Um, he, he's creative in this one, and I think you'll really appreciate this. And I think that this is an award-winning album. That's what I'll say. Uh, more reactions to come for this album. I think Cynthia and I will do all of the songs, or maybe let's say most of the songs. Um, enjoy it. Have a good Labor Day weekend if you're in the United States. Enjoy your weekend if you're in España. And uh, take care. Later.